we are in Guatemala. We are working with the FAN, which is a special forces. We started the first week, we did a lot of classroom training. We went from the classroom, then the next evolution was to take them and do some dry dives. We put a mask in the, in the divers so they can simulate low visibility. Most of the diving we do in the military is, uh, applies to these type of conditions. Like we're diving on base, with the, there's a lot of mud and silt, and you're working pretty much with your hands. The dry diving, we did a couple of dives in the, in the bay. Same thing we did on the land, we applied them in the water. We set up uh, buoys in the water, and we just have the divers guide them all the way through. The surface! Like we, we have our guys driving them, and their guys driving us, so that way we can make sure the communication stays uh, always the same. Okay, so the next uh, step that we took, we did uh, a whole day of training in the pool. And they perform all the procedures like uh, removing an uh, object on top of a victim or diver, uh, assisting the unconscious diver and bringing it to the surface. The main thing on this trip is uh, the human factor. They put a lot of uh, emphasis on all the information we give them. And we also get a lot of the insight, like being able to see all the culture and how they handle their military business. The time in Guatemala here, uh, he was very, very successful. I'm Andy Juan Jose Arbelaez. I'm a diver with Mobile Dallas Savage Unit 2. I'm here in Guatemala with the Southern Partnership Station.